Hi there, my name is Mike Lumpkin. I'm a retired parish priest. My wife and I have been permanent residents on the island for the last five years. Both Ellen and I have been coming to Edisto for more than 65 years. And all of us who love Edisto recognize this sign on Highway 174 that we've driven by many times. And lots of us have driven down the dirt road to George and Pink's for vegetables. George and Pink's Vegetable Market has been a bedrock of the Edisto community for over 40 years, open seven days a week, year in and year out. And their family has been part of the Edisto community for generations. In August 2019, the family 100-year-old home burned and everything was lost. With no insurance to rebuild, they've been living with relatives since then. A team is organizing to raise funds and enlist volunteers to build a home for them. Here we are at this special place for buying fresh veggies and more. And next door is where the house used to be before it burned. The new home for George Pink and her family will be built right here too. I am Pastor A.C. Morrison. I pastor the New First Missionary Baptist Church on Hayesville Island. I gave it 23 years. Jordan Pink, a very strong member of the New First Baptist Church in which I pastor. And I'm Way Camp and I'm the rector at Trinity Episcopal Church here on Edisto Island since 1991. I have known this family all of my life, but the younger part of the family, other than mother and father, they are like my siblings. They're, they're wonderful people. And so I've known uh, George and Pink through the vegetable stand when I was coming down, when I was placed down here on Edisto and buying vegetables here. Mm -hmm. But I especially got to know uh, Pink when we had uh, built our cookbook, Pontop Edisto. And so she was part of that, and, and then she sold the cookbook here at the vegetable stand. And so then uh, Van Leer Rowe and Amy Cornegi brought her the first royalty check because she was selling them here locally, and uh, she declined. She said, no, no, that's for your church. And so she <laughs> wouldn't even receive the royalties. Anyway, we love George and Pink. Amen. Well, of course, with the house burning down, we can help by financially going to uh, GoFundMe and making a contribution, we want to see this family reestablished here on Edisto in a permanent way. And we, we love and support George and Pink. George is not a young man anymore. He's in the 90s. The quicker we can do it, the better it would be for every, everybody. What would having this house built mean to you, Pink? It mean everything. <laughs> everything. It mean everything to me. And it would be make life a whole lot easier. <laughs> and what would it mean to George? Um, well, for him, it would be a blessing because he talks about it all the time, about being back on the farm. Even give him a more peace of mind. He would, you know, he had already retired, but he would come outside. He would sit under the shade. He would, you know, take care of the chickens and so forth and so on. And I've seen a decline in his health. Please join us in our effort. Visit GoFundMe.com slash Home for George and Pink to learn more and make a donation. Or follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Home for George and Pink. We appreciate your generosity and caring love for this family. Thank you.